Sir, congratulations again. Thank you so much for coming out here and talking to us. You're on Fairfax Public Access. And uh, Don, we go back a little bit, but tell the folks uh, why you got into this and what you hope uh, to accomplish here. Are you just talking about breakfast this morning? or <laughs> No, no. Uh, I, I'm so excited. I get sworn in as the, the, the new congressperson from the 8th District in two days on the 6th. It'll be a, you know, a really great new chapter and adventure, and I'm so excited about being able to do my best to offer leadership on a national level. And, you know, people keep asking what the goals are, and I campaign primarily, I mean, centrally on climate change. I, it, it's, uh, it's encouraging but discouraging that the rest of the country is waking up to the reality of what climate change's impact is, is having on us all. And, of course, we need to really invest in our economy. You know, this huge gap between rich and poor can somewhat be overcome if we can provide ever better job opportunities for the middle class, the lower middle class, and, and the working poor. Um, but you, actually, it's interesting, it says our job one, as a freshman in the minority, we'll have fewer Democrats since, uh, in the House since Harry Truman, we'll be trying to build the relationships with the moderate, sensible Republicans where we can actually work together to get things done. There, I, I, I know, but I sure hope so. I, I, I want this to be so. Um, because if it's just going to be up to you know 188 Democrats, we're not going to be able to get anything done. So we're going to have to be able to find ways to, to things we could work on together. Now you've been doing this for a while, right? And you've been in politics, but you seem to have the fire in the belly. I mean, how do you maintain that level of energy and commitment, that drive? Because people that talk to you, I talk to you, we notice you are like focused and determined. What keeps you going? How do you do it? I, I, I frankly, I don't really know any alternative. And, and you know, years and years ago, I, I, my grandfather died before I was born. So I only know him through the stories at the Thanksgiving table and the Christmas table and the like. But the one piece of wisdom from his life that has endured with me is that when we get to be an old man or an old woman, do we want to look back on a lifetime of accumulation or a lifetime of contribution? It seems to me that's a very simple choice. So I am 64 right now, young 64, but uh, much though I love to play golf or play bridge or go hiking, that doesn't change the world. And it, not that I can ever do any of this by myself, but I would like to do whatever I can. No, that's, uh, that's quite insightful. I, um, I always thought you were a, a cerebral, deep thinker and wanted to contribute, and it's clear that uh, that's who you are. What, um, what do you want the folks that don't know you well or don't know about your politics to... Uh, kind of know or remember about you as you go into this new role? You know, I, I've been a salesman most of my adult life, you know, car business, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I've discovered that the best salespeople are the best listeners. And I think that's true with, with people who you know, would be political leaders is that we need to be really good listeners. So in this, as we build our staff on Capitol Hill and succeed, Jim Moran, um, what I'd love for us to be known for is accessibility. That when people have real issues, real ideas, real problems, that, that they can get them to me and to the people around me and that we can do our best to act on them. Um, the last thing I wanted to be is disconnected from the people with real lives and real families and real problems that, that I would like to do anything I can to help make better. Oh, that's, that's a great, great attitude. I think. For Democrats, I think for me, I would like to see us continue to grow, grow the party, grow the outreach. Uh, we sometimes get sort of in this echo chamber and we lose sight of the real voter. So that's a great thing to uh, certainly uh, have as a priority. So, yeah. sir, thank you so much for your time. I don't want to keep you away. Yeah, I don't want to keep you away from, but uh, again, congratulations again and uh, many happy. Uh, positive things and in thank the you. Happy New Year to you all. Sir, thank you, sir. Yeah, thank Take you, care. sir. Thanks.